Hi, welcome to creating an ePortfolio in Canvas. My name is Kathy Pollard, Block 1 instructor at Mesa Community College, Mesa, Arizona, and I'm going to be facilitating your journey through this. First off, why portfolios? Well, just like a graphic artist would create one of their work, their outstanding work, uh, as an artist and, and go to a potential employer, we're encouraging our nursing students to do the same. In this portfolio, you will be encompassing all of your important work for the next four semesters. Uploading, scanning, putting things in so that at the end of your journey with us here at Mesa Community College, you will have it all in one tidy package. An employer will be so impressed when you walk in with all of the, the things that they'd like to look at. The first screen we have here, first off, you have to get into your nursing course. So because I teach Block 1, um, I'm in Nursing 151. All right, this is our home page. If you'll notice to your right hand, we've got a little box, my name, inbox, profile, and logout. I'm going to want you to click on profile, and that will bring up the following screen, which you'll see on the sections on the left, there's one that says ePortfolios. Click on that, and on the right side, you'll see Create an ePortfolio. That's what I'm going to have you do. I've created two portfolios so far, one for me and one called Nancy Nurse. So what I would like you to do when you get there, click on Create an ePortfolio. It will bring up this next section, Make an ePortfolio. And right here is where you're going to put your name. I've entitled this one Student Nurse Startup. And at this point, I won't make it public, but I will then click on Make ePortfolio. What you will see come up is this very first page. Welcome to your ePortfolio. I'm going to suggest that you go to the Getting Started Wizard. Take a look there. Once you get through that, then you're going to click on Go to the actual ePortfolio, which will then take you to a screen that looks like this. This is your beginning. So it's your home page. If we just take a minute to look at the pages, I want to explain them to you. If you think of your portfolio as a book with chapter headings and then pages within that chapter, that's exactly what this is. On the left are your sections or your chapters, and on your right you will see what you can do to insert pages, manage your pages within that very chapter. So when you click over onto the right to edit this page, this is what will come up. This is where you can put in your own message, tell us about you, tell us about your life, what's going on. And then what we'd like you to do also, on the right side you see image file upload. We'd like you to click on that and we'd like you to include a photo of yourself so that we can get to know you and your classmates can get to know you as well if you choose to make this public to them. You're always going to save your page and again, on this, this section here it says allow comments on this page. I would check that box so that people can respond to your welcome page. There it is, allow comments and save page and you're done there. Now, if I want to add sections, and what, what kind of sections should I add? Well, these are some recommendations. So you would press on the left side, add section, and I've done that and I'll be showing you that. So I added a section called Nursing 151. I then added another section, Nursing 171, another 251, and another 271. Those are your four courses at Mesa Community College. Now, I'd like you for a minute to go back to your home page, your course, and click down on the left to where you see the, the modules. Click on that. That's going to take you in to our course modules as designed by Kathy Hannigan and myself. This may not look exactly this way uh, when we get through with things, but this is this is a pretty good framework for it. So what I'd like you to do now is click on Module 1, click on Week 1, and in that list of things you'll see Nursing Student Educational Portfolio. I would like you to click on that, a document will come up, you need to print, and those will be your sections recommended to build your portfolio. I'm going to show you the portfolio that I created for Nancy Nurse. So here she is in Nursing 151 and she's at her home page, her welcome page. We scrolled over to edit that page. When we did that, 
I entered this information. Hi, my name is Nancy and I'm a student nurse at Mesa Community College. I'm so excited to be here. I've been waiting two years to get into this program and I'm going to do it. I'm married to a wonderful man named Charlie. We have two beautiful children, Kayla who is five years old and Charlie Jr. who is two years old. So I'm very busy with my home life and my school life. But I know it will all be worth it when I have those initials behind my name, Armin. Talk to you soon, Nancy. And because Nancy enabled comments, I went in and said, well, hello, Nancy. Welcome to Block 1. We look forward to the learning that will take place this semester, Kathy H. and Kathy P. Take a look at the next slide, Nursing 151. Put a page called Syllabus and one called Course Grid. You would want to scan those things in and then upload them. If we press down to Program of Study in our section on the left, you'll see that I also entered each page transcripts of all schools attended, course descriptions, and application for graduation. This again are things you're going to want to scan in and bring up and upload into your portfolio. The next section is Academic Development. All of you took a NET or a HESI A2 to get into nursing school. I would scan those in and get them put into this section right here. HESI fundamentals will be done at the end of block one. Block two you have a HESI, three and four, and then again any of your nursing process grades. Once you get your grades you could scan them and electronically keep them in here. Another section called competency developing nursing courses. This is where we want you to enter your health documents. Keep a copy of your TB, keep a copy of all your shots, everything that has to do, your CPR card, can all go in here and so when when it's needed you can easily retrieve them rather than from the piles that might be in your home office. You'll see a, a page called evaluation tool, skills list, clinical learning alternative summary and writing samples, care plans or mind maps. All of those things will be ongoing. The next section called lifelong learning has things that you may want to put character traits that will contribute to an employer. What are your teamwork and your people skills? So if you do any sort of a team building effort or, or any sort of a, an assessment during school, put that in there. Love everyone about your family. What are your hobbies and interests? You know, are you involved in service projects? Um, what public speaking have you done or will you be doing or what presentations? Um, in block one, there will, you will have an opportunity to enter in your evidence-based practice presentation at the end of the semester. That would be a good thing to put in here. Any volunteer organizations you might be in, if you've had military training, and reflections or insights that you've gained. Again, creating it on a Word document, uploading it into there, will be just part of who you become. Now we're going to skip over that Healthy Practice Values Interest section. I've not figured out how to get rid of that. There's no little X for me. So just skip that. Let's go to Professional Growth. Workshops and conferences you've attended. Every time you go, you get some kind of a certificate of participation. Scan that in, have it in, and you've got it all right, ready to go. Are you in any nursing group? So we're going to encourage you to join Student Nurses Association. Service Learning. We have a program called AmeriCorps, which you do service um, and get paid for. You'll learn more about that. And again, any writing samples that you may want to put in there. The last section that I've got in here is called Career Readiness. This is where your resume will go. If you get letters from your preceptor, if you have letters of recommendation, any certificates, some of you may take advanced training throughout your four semesters with us. Any awards or honors you receive? What what have you what groups have you been affiliated with? What leadership positions have you held? And what computer related skills? So again, those are all pages that were created. Left side sections, right side pages. Alright? And it's just by editing that page or organizing, manage the page where you can add new pages. Alright, hopefully this very quick brief tutorial is going to help you create a beautiful e-portfolio. So we look forward to seeing it and that's all there is to it.